shuffle time. I'm impressed you've got an eight player group ready. We've got a lot of confusing things to draw. Come on, let's go. All right, if you look at your devices right now, you should see a secret prompt just for you. Weird stuff, like electric broom or some dude whose name is probably Chad. Draw a picture on your device that would have that title. And when you're done, hit send. You'll get points for each player that can correctly guess your title. So, have fun! If you're still watching, wishing you could somehow play along, you can still join the audience by going to jackbox.tv and entering this room code. about 30 seconds left to get that drawing in. It would be such a bummer to lose it. Ding, 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 ding. All right, your drawings are in. Let's take a look. Now, use your device to type in whatever the heck the prompt for this drawing could be. And here are your choices. One of them is the real title. And here are your picks. That's why you don't wash your walls with hot water. Let's take 
a look at our next drawing. Type in a convincing title now. Here are your choices. And here are your picks. Very inspiring stuff. Enter your titles now. Okay, here are your choices.
pick anything. Let's see what people picked. And here are your choices. Okay, who picked what? Here are your choices.
something. And here are your picks. Here are your choices. Here are your picks. Convincing title now.
And here are your choices. Okay, who picked what? Okay, here are your choices. Let's see what people picked.
Come on, wake up! Wake up! Welcome to Trivia Night! A phantasm of mind-rending challenges. Or at least that's how Parade Magazine described it. I'm going to ask you a bunch of trivia questions. If you get a question wrong, you have to fight for your life in one of my super fun mini games. If you do badly in the mini game, I'll kill you. But don't worry, ghosts can still win the game. When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round where the living and dead compete to see who can escape first. And you still have time to join the audience and potentially get killed by me. It's fun! Oh my goodness, will you listen to me? Going on and on like the voices of the birds that tell me what to do. Let's get to the game! Okay now, first question. What on the pH scale is neutral? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got it right? The rest of you, I have a surprise for you! Welcome to the killing floor! We're going to play chalices. I've given all the safe players a bit of poison to use. Pick a chalice to put your poison in. Now it's your turn to play. Pick a chalice to drink from. I'm pretty, pretty, pretty excited to show off my chalice collection. Drink something! Good to the last drop. If you know what I mean. Now let's see what everyone drank. This is gonna hurt. Uh-oh, looks like somebody's a ghosty ghost. But you're not getting out of this game that easily. Ghosts still get to play and can even win the whole thing in the final round. Death is not the end. And here's your score so far. I've been calculating all this in my head, so I hope it's right. Let's try this again. Okay, time for an easy one. Where are you? This one. The rest of you who are still alive, let's go someplace fun. Welcome back to the killing floor. I'm going to ask you a question. Answer very carefully. What's the number one key to success? Type an answer on your device and press send when you're finished. Now everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the answer that you hate the most. Whoever wrote the answer with the most votes dies. Pick the answer that makes you go, uh, waiter, I do not want this. Please take it back. Voting is not just the right. The votes are in. Ooh, these words will look good on your headstone. This is the scoreboard again. I had thought about having a different scoreboard for each question, but sometimes you have to make sacrifices along the way in game development. Alright, next question. 
The dish Mahi Mahi is also known as what? The correct answer is this. Let's play a game. Nothing brings out the best in people like a big pile of cash. Here's how this is going to work. If no one takes the money, no one dies. But if you do take the money, I'll kill everyone who didn't. There's one catch. If you all take the money, then you all die. Feel free to shout demands at each other now. Time for the consequences! Wow, I really didn't think he'd be so trustworthy. Weird. Let's try another one. Not the bees! Is screamed in which Nicholas Cage film? Picked this one. I have a surprise for you. Okay, okay, fine. We'll do some math. Now get off my back. Yeesh. Answer as many math questions as you can before time runs out. If you do the worst, you die. Let's get this math party started. You're mathing so hard right now. Get a few more questions in, you egghead. A tie is bad for everyone involved. Oh no, now you're a math ghost. Only one player left alive, just how I like it. Well, look who's still alive. Now you just have to escape with your body. I'm going to give you a category. James Bond movies. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit. Decisions? Let's see the right answers! You move forward one space for every correct answer. You're getting real close to the exit. Oh, did I mention that all the other ghosts get to play too? If a ghost catches up to you, then they will steal your body. Then they can escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time today, kiddo. We're gonna catch you. Woodwind instruments. Time is almost up. of the darkness. Goosebumps bumps. Decisions, decisions. Good. Now a 
escape before the others catch you. Here's another one. German car manufacturers. I'm going to have to punish my riders. Another life swap! Mountain Dew flavors. Anytime today, kiddo. So many kills. Red wine. Is this how the best rides at amusement parks feel? It's so great to see you again. Okay now, first question. Approximately how long after death does rigor mortis usually set in? Use your device to answer the question. Uh, that means you weirdos the audience too. now and the correct answer is who got the question right the rest of you prepare for your punishment welcome to the killing floor let's test your memory memorize the pattern do, 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 and done. From left to right, what was the order of the weapons? If you do the worst, you'll die of embarrassment. And also actually die. I should have led with that one. Ah! 
Did your brain freeze up? Hit send. Was this the order you burned into your brain? How much of it did you remember? It looks like you forgot what was at stake. Here's the early scores, and yeah, this is about what I expected. Oh, and let's see how the audience is doing. Off to a good start, audience. Alright, next question. What is the name of Dora the Explorer's monkey? said this very good next question which of these vicious beasts is not a canine And the correct answer is... This one. The rest of you who are still alive, I want to show you something. Hey girl, welcome back to the killing floor. We're going to play the finger cutting game. It's all pretty much there in the title, honestly. Just choose one of your fingers to cut off. My dog could do it, but he doesn't have fingers. Commence cutting. That finger ain't gonna chop itself, you know. Good news! One less nail to cut. And here's your scores, my little dumplings. Let's try another one. Where did Clydesdales originate? Time's running out. Who said? This one? Let's go someplace fun. What a mess. I'm going to need everyone's help. There's blood all over this art. Memorize the pattern of blood. Alright, that's enough time. Reproduce the pattern on your device by tapping on all the spaces that were red. Then press submit when you're done. If anyone does better than you, I will be testy. <laughs> Clock's running out, Van Gogh. Hit submit already. Here's that art again. Let's see if you messed it up. Alright, how did the other folks do? I knew someone would rise to the challenge. To be fair, predators are supposed to attack the weakest link. Shout out to all my dead people. Sup, homies? How about this? What cargo is picked up in Smokey and the Bandit?
Time's running out! Who picked this? Let's play a game. Fight! 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 You can attack someone else. You can defend yourself. Or you could grab some money. And if no one gets hurt, I'll still punish someone. So make sure someone gets hurt. Time to battle for my amusing. So, you know, try to do something amusing. Hurt each other. I'm gonna call you Michael Chicklist because that was great shield work. Attacking someone and not killing them is real weak. Punishment for you. You can see the full explanation of the tiebreaker rules over on my website. And truth be told, I could really use the traffic. I've been trying to use social media, but it's not working. I've got more questions for you. Who is the Greek god of fear? Time's running out! Who picked this one? You're in for a treat. Yes! Nothing spells certain doom like the loser wheel! Go ahead and spin it! Round and round she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. Oh, what an unexpected result. Here's another one. Let's mix things up a little bit with a picture question. Not a lot of people know this, but I'm a certified piano instructor, and these are my two prized pupils. They're really a gifted duo. Well, technically, when they play together, it's more of a quartet. They can really tickle the ivories in a way that makes the piano sound like it's screaming from sheer pain. <laughs> they make me so proud. Okay. How many red digits were in the picture? Said this one. Come with me. It's time for a dice game. I'll go first. Fourteen. Now I need a little help from a safe player. How about you? In order to live, should they roll higher or lower? You can make it as hard or as easy as you want. That'll be a tough roll. Roll higher than me or you die. Yeah. Oh, craps. Ah! Wait, we got all this way just for everybody to die at once? Aw, oh, hell no. We're doing the final round. I brought you back to life because you're more or less doing the best. Okay, let's go. It wasn't easy making it here alive, and it won't be easy to escape with your body. Here's your first category. Songs on Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Tap on each answer that fits, then press submit.
Time is almost up. Let's see the right answers. A space for every right answer. Yoga poses. American countries. Should be. Foods you can eat on the paleo diet. Slow! So sad. Erectile dysfunction drugs. The shadows are coming. Forced by Frank Oz. Just a few more steps. Marsupials. Hurry up. Western African countries. I believe in you! Let the darkness consume you. Man with three members.
thought your nightmare was over, but it's not over. It's only beginning. Again. Because, you know, it's another one. I don't know what I was trying to say exactly. Let's just play. First question. Which of the following Taylor Swift songs uses the word love the most number of times in its lyrics? The correct answer is... Who got it right? <laughs> Everyone is wrong! Prepare for your punishment! Welcome to the killing floor! I want to see you spell! Use letters to spell the longest word you can before time runs out! I got some of these letters from Highlights Magazine! But the person with the shortest word will be punished! Word time, go! The letters don't have to touch each other, and remember to press submit when you're done. You're almost out of time! Let's see what you came up with. I probably should have mentioned you have to enter actual words. And ties are verboten. I just read the fountainhead, so I only reward winners. And here's how everyone stacks up early in the game. But you're all number one to me. And before I forget, let's check in with that audience. Wow, the audience is on fleek! Am I using that right? Alright, next question. <sighs> I got into a fight with my neighbor again this morning. It's really eating me up. I was kind of rude. I rolled my eyes at him in a passive-aggressive way. Is that who I am? Is that me? I gotta fix it somehow. What's the phone number for edible arrangements? Time's running out! And the correct answer is... This. The rest of you who are still alive, you're in for a treat. Welcome back to the killing floor. I want to see your artistic side. I want to see some masterpieces from you piggies. The perfect murder weapon. Draw this thing the best you can and press send when you're finished. Everyone gets to vote. I want you to pick the worst drawing. Pick the drawing that makes you go, uh, no. No, sir, I will not have any of that. My patience is wearing thin. The votes are in. I actually really enjoyed what you made, but rules are rules. I think you found your true calling as a splatter artist. 
Only one player left, huh? Well, the endgame is not quite ready, so let's do this. If you can somehow survive these next two questions, I'll give you a chance to escape during the final round. Alright, next question. How many teaspoons are in a tablespoon? answer is this one only a ghost got it wrong hmm, too easy let's try another one Sarah Blakely became a billionaire by founding what company One. Too easy. Congrats on making it here alive. Now let's see if you can escape with your body. Here's your first category. Tom Riddle's Horcruxes. Tap on each answer that fits, then press Submit. Decisions, decisions. Let's see the right answers. A space for every right answer. Sausages. Shadows. Parts of the brain. song. Here comes the next question. Drum based cocktails. This is 
so close. A real little finish. Laxative brands. Welcome to Quiplash. I'm Schmitty. Just throw your jacket anywhere. Me game as Sue game. The great thing about a fresh game is that right now, you're all tied for first place. And last, remember, extra players can join the audience and pick their favorite quips. Audience votes count. Here's round one. You are about to see two prompts on your device. Type something hilarious, or not, for each one. Then everyone gets to decide if your answer is better than someone else's. Democracy at work. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go!
Okay, I hope you all made me proud. The first prompt is a sign you don't want to see next to a hotel hot tub. Okay, choose your favorite. Next is a job that doesn't exist, but surely would have the highest death rate if it did. Okay, vote. Next on deck, the least popular scented candle smells like blank. It's voting time. Next up, a weird plan for saving the manatees. Vote away. Moving on, a rejected song from the musical Oklahoma. Ready, set, vote. Okay, next one. An awkward thing to shout while bouncing on a trampoline with your friend. Time to vote. Moving on, you'll realize you shouldn't have picked up that hitchhiker when he says blank. And vote. Coming up next, a catchphrase you'd probably hear on a sitcom called The Poop Family. Get to voting!
Round one is in the books. Let's see the scores. It's time for round two, where all point values are doubled. That's right, doubled. Running out, think fast or use a safety quip. <laughs> All right, let's have a look. Prompt number one is a terrible trade you can make with the devil. You give him your soul for blank. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. Next in line, something very disturbing to pull out of your ear. Vote now. Next one, be prepared. Always keep a blank in your pocket. Vote on your devices. And next, in the worst casting decision ever, the role of Frodo Baggins would go to blank. Put in your votes. Next on the list, after killing Hitler, the second thing you would do with a time machine. And vote. Oh, <laughs> 
Your next prompt is something that would be terrifying to notice in the background of a selfie. Okay, vote. Next in the hopper, the name of a figure skating move yet to be successfully pulled off. Time to vote. Up next, the number one thing on Superman's bucket list. Vote now. That's all for round two. Light up that scoreboard. <laughs> round three, the last lash. Everybody's getting the same prompt, so don't hold back. Complete the comic. Everybody's in. It's round three, so you've got three medals to award. A gold, a silver, and a bronze. Make your picks. Great, let's see where those medals ended up. First, the bronze. Bring out the silver. And now the gold. Let's translate that into points. We're done. Let's see the final scores. Ha, <laughs> ha,
Smitty's my name, Quiplash is my game, and it's your game, assuming you've paid for it. Everybody remember their safe word? Cool. This is round one. You'll score points based on the percentage of people who prefer your answer. Have at it. Hit the safety quit button if you can't think of something. Okay, here we go. 
Up first, who is currently the 5,492nd ranked player in professional tennis? Okay, vote for your favorite. Next prompt, a great way to get expelled from Hogwarts. Get to voting. Next in the hopper, first draft movie line, frankly my dear, I blank. Ready, set, vote. Next on the list, the one thing toll booth operators say every day. Float away. Moving on, what Abe Lincoln probably called having sex. It's voting time. Okay, next one. How can you tell that your toe is infected? Vote on your devices. Coming up next, a text message that Jesus sends at 3 a.m. Get to voting! That's round one. Let's see how the scores shook out. <laughs> it's round two time and everything's worth double. Don't let those points go to waste.
great. Let's see what we got here. Starting us off, what NASA doesn't tell us is that for years they've observed blank through a powerful telescope. Okay, select your favorite quip. Next, Santa's phasing out reindeer, and next year his sleigh will be pulled by blank. Vote away. And next is, remember, when buying a new home, always make sure the previous owner didn't blank. Time to vote. And next, the official name for the Pope's underwear. Vote now. Next one, a strange thing to yell when you find your first gray hair. It's voting time. Next in line, the reason everyone loves Tom Hanks is blank. Okay, vote. Next up, the least impressive trophy, first place in blank. Put in your votes. Round two is now complete. Let's see where we landed. Yeah. 
This is round three, the last lash. Everyone gets the same one single prompt this time. Complete this word lash task. Let's see the responses. Choose the medal winning quips. Raise yourselves, here come those medals. Bronze, silver, and finally gold. Medals are nice, but points are even nicer, so. Okay, let's see those final scores. Schmitty here. Please stay seated until the game comes to a complete stop. Good group, good group. I just hope we're all friends after this. This is round one. The more folks who choose your answer, the more points you get. Go! Almost out of time. Use the safety quit button if you have to. Let's see what we got. First up, what keeps Adam Sandler making movies? 
Okay, everybody, pick your favorite. Your next prompt is a terrible thing to say to the bouncer checking your fake ID. And vote. Next on deck, a good taunt to yell at the zoo elephants. <laughs> Moving on, something you never want to hear a flight attendant say. Okay, next one. A fun activity that only requires three fingers. Ready, set, vote. Next on the list, the worst children's game, Hungry Hungry Blank. Next one, if you want a really effective scarecrow, make sure it resembles blank. Round one is behind us. Let's see how you scored. Ah. Round two time and look sharp because I'm doubling all the point values. Time's running out. Use a safety clip if you need it.
Okay, remember, this is all your fault. First off, what Zane from One Direction will be doing when he's 40. Okay, pick your favorite and vote. Coming up next, a terrible brand name for cat food. Next up, the name of a bra for dogs. Your next prompt is The worst office has a view of blank Vote away Up next, the worst place to put potato salad. Okay, vote. Next prompt, an event you would dominate at the Olympics, the 500 meter blank. Get to voting. You survived round two. Let's see if your scores did. <laughs> and now round three, the last lash. This time you'll all be answering the same prompt. Complete this comic. Let's see what you've wrought. 
Present your medals now. Okay, let's see who got those medals. Bronze. Show me the silver. And gold. Now let's turn those medals into points. We did it, you guys. Let's go to the scores. Hey there, I'm Cookie, but my friends call me Razor. Not to my face, but I'm pretty sure it's catching on. I think all six of you can fit in my Fiesta if you want to get smoothies after. Let me know. And if you're not playing, don't forget you can still join the audience.
You can vote on decoy answers to trip up the players, and you get to take a shot at guessing the truth. Let's play. This is round one, which means you get 500 points for everyone you fool with your made-up answer. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. All right, choose a category. First up, Utah prison officials denied death row inmate Joseph Mitchell Carson's last request to play basketball because they were oddly afraid he would blank. Now write a lie on your device that the other players might think is true. If you're stuck, for half the points, you can hit the lie for me button and get a suggestion. Do it. Okay, these are your choices. Pick the truth on your device now. Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, if I'm ever on death row, I'm just going to keep rolling my ankle. I'll live forever. This just in from Hollywood. Celebrity social. Celebrity Tweet. In October 2014, Chris Pratt asked, Why is it called a blank? And who's the person who came up with that name? I bet he was a real asshole. Type in your lies now. All right, find the truth. I love this part.
Give me a category. Okay, we don't have all day. Let's see how this strikes you. Ever had Betsy beer? It's brewed so that it tastes best when you're blank. Answer your lies now. Finish quick, or just hit the lie for me button. Okay, find the truth. And what did people pick? Your taste buds apparently change when you're at a high altitude and trapped in a cabin of farts. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. Time to pick a category. Let's see what we got. Even after the death of a child on the White House lawn, Thomas Jefferson refused to get rid of his dangerous blank. Okay, enter your lies. Hurry, use the lie for me button if you're stuck. Okay, seek the truth. All right, who picked what? If he's remembered for just one thing, let it be this. Okay, pick a category.
Okay, here's the question. A Swedish couple named their son this collection of keystrokes, which they claimed was pronounced simply blank. Write your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? I guess the R F X X C C X X M P C C C C L L L M M M P R X C M C K S S Q L B B one 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 and six are just silent. Select the category. I see you can't be bothered. All right, here it is. Grand Gore is the common Scottish nickname for blank. All right, type in your lies. Okay, here are your choices. Let's see what everybody selected. Yeah, it's not that grand. Welcome to the final fibbage. It's your last chance at points and it's worth triple. Don't blow it. Adam Rayner is the only man in recorded history to be both blank and blank. Okay, enter your lies.
Okay, look for the truth and pick it. Let's see what you guys picked. Four foot eight at age nineteen, then he shot up to seven foot one in his thirties due to a hormonal disorder. Welcome to Fibbage, I'm your host Cookie, but I can't let you in until you say lemons. I mean the password. The, the password is lemons. Alright, six players. I didn't think you had this many friends, but okay. Oh, and anyone else who wants to get in can be in the audience. The audience votes on fake answers to fool those gullible players, and they also get to guess the truth. Let's hit it. This is round one, where you'll get 500 points for fooling the other players with your lies. And you'll score 1,000 for finding the truth. Alright, choose a category. Alright, question one. In 1993, Ahmed Shafiq conducted an experiment on how the sex lives of rats were affected by blank. Type in your lies now. Hit the lie for me button. All right, where's the truth? Let's see what everybody picked.
Would you believe I conducted a similar experiment in college? Here's something you gotta see. It's time to look at this. I'm sure I don't have to tell you this is a patent for blank. Enter your lies now. Hit the live for me button if you can't think of something. All right, pick the truth. Let's see how things shook out. It's what Cisco will probably be wearing in 20 years or so. Okay, pick a category. Okay, here's your question. A bride in Uttar Pradesh, India, stormed out of her wedding when her groom was unable to blank. Write your lies now. Write something quick or use the lie for me button. Okay, which one is the truth? Okay, what did everyone pick? 
Here's something you might be interested in. He probably couldn't figure out how many times they'd argued over table settings. Get ready for round two, where all the points are doubled. Time to pick a category. No, please, allow me. Here's the question. San Antonio Spur Matt Bonner suffered a swollen elbow because, according to him, his blank was too big. Type in your lies now. Hurry up, use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Okay, where's the truth? All right, who picked what? <laughs> Nobody thought of this. Apparently texting with one hand was a strain. Life is tough. Give me a category. Try this one. In 2002, Walmart decided to pull a controversial toy from its shelves. It was a doll called Blank Midge. Okay, enter your lies. Finish quick, or just hit the lie for me button. Okay, here you go. Find the truth.
I love this part. I assume parents were angry she wasn't celibate for life, Midge. Select the category. Let me help with that. And the question is, the online casino GoldenPalace.com paid $523 on eBay for a jar containing Angelina Jolie's blank. All right, type in your lies. Hurry, use the lie for me button if you're stuck. Okay, take a look and find the truth. All right, let's see what everybody picked. <laughs> that was a complete miss. Uh. Tough luck if you wanted Angela Bassett's breath. She's still waiting to exhale. It's final fibbage time. Pay attention, because this last one's worth triple points. Have fun. In a post-game interview, Ghanaian football star Mohamed Anas turned some heads by thanking both blank and blank. Enter your lies now. Use a suggestion if you can't think of anything. Okay, which one's the truth?
Let's see what everybody selected. Hope he remembered to thank his divorce lawyer.